How's it going everybody? This is Double Wide Six and uh, got a little project up here on the bench today. It's a uh, small uh, Walbro two cycle car carburetor. Pretty common carburetor used in a lot of small engine equipment. Um, I believe this is from a uh, Craftsman uh, leaf blower. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to run a little pressure test and uh, see how this carb checks out before we go through and uh, do a rebuild of it. So here's a look at the pressure testing gun I'll be using. It's actually a Mighty Vac. I just actually got this thing so I'm trying it out. Um, I figured I'd get it because I've been working on a lot of uh, two cycle stuff and it kind of helps diagnose some problems. So um, what it's capable of doing is uh, it can pump pressure and it can also check a vacuum. So uh, there's a little switch here It says pressure there and if you turn it down it'll form a vacuum. And uh, it's the Mighty Vac MV 8500 kit and that's what the needle looks like. And from everything I read, it's supposed to be a really good kit for testing small engines. And it comes in a nice case. And as you can see, there's all kinds of uh, adapters that come with it. And now I'm just trying to learn a little bit more about how it works. So on the carburetor that I'll be working with, uh, there's a fuel pump side. That's this side of the carburetor where it says Walbro and on the other side this is your metering side so what I'm gonna do is a pressure test and I'm gonna be hooking up to the fuel pump side and we're gonna look for any leaks alright so what I'm doing is I'm taking my fuel pump side of the carburetor and I just cut a little piece of fuel line there and I'm hooking it up to my uh, pressurized gun and right now it's on zero I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that on the camera and I'm gonna pump this thing up to 10 PSI and uh, if our needle and seat is holding well and there's no leaks in the gasket uh, this thing should hold at 10 and I'm looking at it very closely and I can tell it's it's actually leaking down a little bit. It was at 10, and it looks like right now it's at eight, and it's continuing to leak very slowly. So we have a problem. Houston, there's a problem. So with our first pressure test, as you can see, it's continuing to leak down here. I'm at about six and a half PSI. Um, basically, uh, we're having a problem with the carburetor. So it means one of two things. Either the needle and seat inside the carburetor are leaking or the uh, gasket in here on the fuel pump side is not sealing properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip this thing in water and we're going to see where it bubbles. If it bubbles from the venturi in here that means our needle and seat isn't seated properly. If it bubbles around this uh, fuel pump gasket that means that that's not sealing properly so I'm gonna pump this thing up back up to 10 so we'll give it a little squeeze it's leaking very slow but it is leaking so and this is the type of stuff that you won't know unless you pressure test a carb I'm dipping this thing in water and we're gonna look for bubbles and I can see the gauge is still going down oh yeah looks like it I don't know how well you can see it um, I can see that it's leaking out the gasket let me try and zoom you guys in on that that carburetor is underwater and if you look real closely there you can see the bubbles popping out and they're clearly coming out of the gasket there at the fuel pump 
So that needs to be fixed before we move on to our next test. So I pulled off the pumping side of the carburetor and uh, basically I noticed two things. Um, one of these little divots here that stays up on the edge, uh, there's another one that's supposed to be up here to help you line up the parts when you put them together. This one was uh, actually broken off inside the, the carb. Um, so the little piece was uh, basically stuck inside the carb. So uh, I got that out. I don't think that was the issue. I think that when you look at the uh, gaskets in here, these, these little round parts look like um, they're slightly bent and they're supposed to be completely flat and I think uh, that possibly could have been letting some air through and it might not have just been sealing right. So I had another one of these things laying around and I put it in the carburetor so it's, it's set up there and I already tested it once off camera so I'll pump this up for you and our first pressure test we want it right at 10 and that thing's holding real solid at 10 and I dunked it in the water and there weren't any bubbles so we're now passing test one so that's good for our second pressure test we're going to use the exact same setup so I still have the pump hooked up to the fuel inlet side of the carburetor and you'll notice that I have a, a primer bulb hooked up um, generally this is the exact setup that the carburetor set up inside your small engine equipment. This would be hooked up to a fuel filter that would be inside your tank going into your fuel pump and then coming out of the metering diaphragm there would be a hose that goes to the small side of the primer which is the little black post the big black post of the primer there would be a hose going to the fuel tank where it would draw air at the top of the tank so this primer bulb is actually set up exactly the way it would be on your small engine equipment so for this test what we're going to do is we're going to pump up our pump again to about 10 psi and we're gonna push on the primer bulb and what we're gonna confirm is that the needle and seat are working properly so uh, basically what we want to do is pump this thing up to 10 so we're pumping it up we're at 10 psi and you want to see it that that's exactly what it should do it should move down and seat and basically what that's showing you is that when you pump air in there the needle is is popping out of the seat inside the carburetor and then it's reseating itself and it's holding the pressure and then when you do it again the same thing happens um, the other thing that you're confirming there is that your uh, primer check valve is working properly as it holds the the pressure it's not letting um, any air out of there and that needles still holding there that's showing you that your primer check valve is working properly for our third carburetor diagnostic test what we're going to do is switch the setup so I'm still set up for the first two tests and all I have to do is take my pump there's the gun and we're going to hook that up to the primer return line okay so this is normally the line that comes from the primer and back into the top of the tank so we're going to hook up the pump there and I have my pump actually at zero so there's no vacuum or pressure at all I have it set to the pressure setting and what we're going to do is we're going to pump the primer one two all the way up to 10 psi so we're at 11 and we want to leave it there and make sure that it holds up there at well it should be 10 I'm at about 11 and as you can see that's holding nice and steady and uh, what we're actually checking is that our carb is working properly um, if, if it was leaking down that would mean that we have a, a bad check valve in the carb and as you can see that's holding real nice right up there a little bit above 10 so it's uh, checking our check valve and uh, 
everything looks good so I'm happy with that Another thing that you can check with these uh, separate primer units, if the primer is not connected to your carb, you can also dip this in water with it being pressurized and you can look for bubbles to determine if there's any leaks on your primer. Um, you know, that's showing me that that primer isn't leaking because I, I have it uh, pressurized right there at about 10 PSI, so I'm going to let the pressure out. So now that I know the results of my diagnostic pressure testing here, um, basically I found that uh, this gasket in here was leaking. I replaced it with a gasket that I happen to have. Um, you know, it could be just the gasket or it could actually be that the carb body might be scratched or damaged or warped or corroded or it could be the fuel pump cover could be uh, like warped or something and cause a leak like that. I also know that the needle and seat is good in this carburetor so I don't need to buy a carb kit that includes a needle and seat. Seems like that is working well. Um, I also found out from doing this test that the primer seems to be working. So uh, it looks like this carb is actually in pretty good shape. I'm going to run it through the ultrasonic cleaner and uh, rebuild it and I will retest it before I put it back into the leaf blower. So I'm Double Wide 6, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, you can comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.